Hey guys, Kevin here from Pwn Zone Gaming. Today we're going to be going through the first of many survival guides for Minecraft. So the things that we're going to be discussing are how to create your basic tools and kind of discuss what they're used for, and just some general tips um, and things to get you started in surviving your first day and night in Minecraft. So for those of you who are pros at Minecraft, um, just follow along, you might actually learn something from the basic stuff. Um, for those of you who are beginners or who don't have Minecraft, um, Make sure and uh, follow along and enjoy. There's lots to learn. And uh, if you don't have Minecraft, I would definitely recommend getting it. So to get started, we're just going to go over to our multiplayer. I have a server set up that I showed how to create um, in the one of my other videos. So I'm just going to double click into that and we can get started. Alright, so our Minecraft server has opened up. So the first thing that you're going to be doing when you're playing survival mode um, is trying to get uh, some supplies so that you can create your tools. So what we're going to be looking for are trees, because trees are essential in creating tools because you need wood in order to create the sticks for the handles of your tools. So we're going to go over and find some trees, and uh, we're just going to start hitting the wood. So basically just left click on the wood in order to start hitting it, and it will drop onto the ground once you've cut some. Now we do need a fair amount of wood, so um, hopefully we can find enough trees. It seems like we're in a fairly icy landscape. If for some reason you want to restart your uh, server, you can always change your world folder, as I discussed in that other video. Um, but we're just going to roll with what we got. Okay, so we're just going to kind of hunt around, and we're just going to try and find some trees. Now, you want to move as quickly as you can. Um, I mean, you don't need to be super speedy, but you do only have about 10 minutes of daylight um, before the sun sets and things that want to kill you um, will come out. And they will spawn and try and kill you. So you want to try and acquire as much wood as possible. Alright, so I'm just going to get some wood, and then we'll kind of start hunting for a place to um, live for our first night. Um, seeing as there's plenty of mountains and um, some soft dirt and stuff around, we should be okay. Um, if for some reason you spawn in the middle of the ocean, you can always kind of wade around in the water. Um, as long as you don't go near the shore, you should be okay. You can always make a super tower out of dirt um, by kind of jumping and setting your blocks down. That would always work. So we're just going to kind of try and find a couple of trees here. Um, Probably one more tree. We'll cut that down. So we're just trying to get some wood, and um, then we'll make some sticks out of it. Well, first some planks, and then we'll make some sticks. All right, one more piece, and then we can go and find maybe a location or something to um, live for our first night. All right, so let's kind of venture along down here. Looks like there's plenty of pigs we can use for later tutorials on actually um, hunting for some food, getting meat, and cooking it. So, um... I don't know. This kind of looks like a pretty good area. There's some ice here. Ah, here we go. Here's some coal. Um, you're going to kind of want to look for this rock here um, and kind of set up your area in an area where you see this rock. Um, it's going to be gray and it's going to have some black speckles. Um, this is coal and you're going to use it to create light sources. Um, it's going to be very helpful. So what we kind of want to do is start just digging. Um, we're going to get some dirt. Um, if we want to make a shovel, we can do this much faster. So let's actually start making a couple of tools. So we can hit E and pull up our crafting and our inventory. So we can pull our wood and drop it right there into our uh, crafting area. So once you have one block of wood, it's going to make wooden planks. So I can take and make quite a few wooden planks. And it looks like I've made them all into wooden planks. So once you have that, you can actually take and we can build a crafting table. So what you want to do is hit E again bringing up your inventory and you want to kind of um, split your stack and the way that you do that is by right clicking on any item in your crafting and so we're just kind of going to split our stack a few times and you'll see that if you have four wooden planks in this configuration you'll make a crafting table so I'm going to take that and put it down into my inventory and then you can hold shift and click on your um, items that are still in your crafting so that they don't drop onto the ground and they'll all be stacked right back up so I'm going to kind of make my little cave in here. So I'm just going to put my crafting table down by having it in my inventory, in my hand. And we're just going to just right click and put it down. So what we can do now is make some stuff. So what we need to do in order for that is actually get some, uh, we have some dirt. Um, I think we could probably use some wood or maybe some stone. Um, we're probably going to need a pick. So what we need to do um, is take some of our wood and we can take and make some of it into sticks. So we can, basically in Minecraft, what you need to do is have your items turn into um, 
or be put in the configuration of what the item would look like. So a stick would be kind of a long piece. And a stick in Minecraft is two pieces um, of wood, wooden planks, right there in a line, and it looks like a stick, so then it makes sticks. So you can kind of click and drag some of those down there. We don't want to make them all into sticks, but we are going to need quite a few sticks for our tools. So what we're going to do is pull those back. Now we can take and split our stack of sticks, and we're going to take and put some wood up here. So now we can make a shovel. So you see two sticks make the long handle of the shovel, and then this actually makes the business end. So we can pull that down into our inventory. Now if you want to make an axe, you would put it like this in the shape of an axe. You can pull that down. If you want to make a hoe, it would just be two at the top. So you can pull that down. Seems as like I've got an achievement. All right, so now what else do we need? We need a pick, so we can put three at the top and then two for the handle. And then if for some reason we do get attacked, we're going to need a sword, so we need to have um, two pieces of wood or stone and then a stick at the bottom, again, looking like a sword. So now we have all of our tools. We can put those down into our inventory, which is this bottom row right here. So once we've done that, we can take and actually go and dig for some stuff. I see what happens if you forget to pull it out of this crafting table, it all just goes on the ground, so make sure that you pull it out um, every once in a while you'll forget. So what you're going to want to do for this dirt, um, we're just going to need some stuff that we can actually build with, so um, dirt is good for shovels. Um, shovels cut through dirt pretty darn quick, so you want to make sure that you use the right tool for the job. So shovels are good for gravel um, and dirt and sand. Picks are good for stone. Um, axes are good for trees, and then you're going to use your hoe for clearing uh, land so that you can farm. So what we have here is a bunch of basically dirt blocks. So you can see that they turn into these little squares whenever you cut them. So you just walk up to them and pick them up, and you can um, use those in your construction projects. So you can see I have quite a few of them here. Um, where's our sun at? It's right uh, getting a little getting a little close for comfort. So what we need to do is kind of start hurrying up here. We're going to try and build a nice little um, kind of safe haven. Now, what we want to do is build some uh, torches so that we have light. Uh, bad things spawn in the dark. Anywhere that there's a shadow in Minecraft, um, you're going to have bad things spawning. So you want to make sure that you have some coal. So if you can't find coal, you can always um, probably take and just make a 2x2 two two spot and hide there for the night um, so that nothing can spawn around you. Or you can build a furnace, um, which is by getting a whole bunch of stone. If I have time, I can show you how to build that furnace. Um, and then you can actually create charcoal to make your torches. So what we need to do is basically go back to our crafting. We're going to take some of our sticks, and it's sticks, and then on top of that coal, and we can make some torches. So we have eight torches, so hopefully that'll be enough to light our little house. So what we want to do is grab our blocks of sand here, or dirt, and we're just going to keep placing them basically just right clicking wherever you want them to go and we're just going to try and kind of make in a little covering here for for the night it doesn't have to be fancy we're probably going to move because there's not a ton of trees around this area so we want to make sure that uh, we have trees because you're going to need lots of torches lots of axes um, things like that so you can see that we've got some shadows here um, this is no good things will spawn in this this is too much shadow even though you can see what's going on um, bad things will spawn in there even during the daytime. So what you want to do is just right click with your torches in your hand and you can set torches down. And so let's just, um, we're going to need some more dirt. Let's just get some more dirt here. Our sun is over there, so um, it rose over in that direction. So we're kind of getting closer to dusk here, so we don't want to keep moving as quickly as possible. Rushing through, building our, our crappy little house. It's okay. Everyone's first house is kind of going to be crappy unless you're building in creative mode. But then there's no tutorial. So we're trying to survive. All right, so we've got our got our stuff here. So there's 25 blocks. That should be enough to finish our little house. So I probably want a little too advantageous for this first house. Um, it doesn't have to be this big at all. Um, you can make it a little bit smaller. Um, just needs to be closed in. Um, you can always put in a little window if you want to make sure. Um, you can see out, so you can see if there's bad stuff or if it's daytime. And make sure that you have enough torches that you have no shadows. So, um, that's basically that. So you can't always take and build in a window. Um, nothing can get through a one by one square. You might be able to get shot by a skeleton with a bow through that, um, but nothing's actually going to be able to come through that. Now, if you had this kind of hole, um, a giant spider can come through there and kill you. So you want to make sure that you have only one by one holes as windows. 
So now I mentioned that you can make a, um, basically a furnace. And so what we're going to be doing is trying to get enough stone. You need just this regular gray stone in order to make a furnace. So you're going to want to use your pick um, because you can cut through uh, most things in Minecraft by just using your hand or any other object. Like I could hit this with a flower and it would break. Um, but if you use the right tool, you're going to do it a lot faster. So um, later on, I can show you how you can make a stone pick. Um, it's basically just like making a wooden pick except um, out of stone because they do last longer. Um, you'll see that down where uh, I have my my tools, you can see that it's turned green. Um, there's a little green bar, and basically um, that green bar shows the health of that item. So you want to make sure that you have plenty of um, health on your items if you're going to go foraging so that you don't um, have any issues um, because they will just disappear after you use them. So they do kind of have a life to them. So the if you use stone, then it lasts longer than just uh, wood. So now we are in a good spot because I did find some coal, but I'm kind of venturing out at dusk here, which is kind of a dangerous plan um, because I accidentally used all my wood earlier in order to make planks. So we'll just grab some wood, um, get back to our house here, and I can show you how to make the furnace. Now, if you didn't have coal you wanted to spend, you're probably going to want to have spent some time doing that um, earlier in the day, actually getting some wood and getting some uh, stone in order to build a little furnace so you can make charcoal, but I'm just going to cap this off and show you how to do it in the safety of my little house. Um, because in a worst case scenario you would have no coal um, and you would have to make charcoal. So we can even cut this down. So there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do is go over to our crafting table and we're going to make a furnace. So I'm just going to take my cobblestone and in order to make a furnace you need to have blocks all around the outside and none in the middle. So I'm just going to basically take and split my stacks again right clicking in order to do that and you can see now it comes up as a furnace over here so basically just um, all the way around the outside and then a hole in the middle to put your stuff in so again things in Minecraft look in the crafting window like what generally they're going to look like as the item so if we click on the furnace we can put that in our inventory and then we can take and pull all this stuff out so now what you want to do um, is basically take some wood um, and we're, we can go to put our furnace down. So we're going to get our furnace in our hand, right click to put it down. Then we're going to right click on it in order to use it. Now you can cook food in here and that's going to be in a future tutorial. But what we want to do right now is actually create some uh, charcoal. So we got this wood here and what we're going to do is put one wood um, in there in order to be a fuel source. So the bottom piece is always the fuel source and then the top piece um, is going to be what you're actually cooking. And so in this case it's going to be some wood. So you can see our flames here. Um, the flames will kind of go down, so um, you'll see that I'll get more than one use from that one piece of wood, or at least I should. You can see that it's now cooking the next piece of wood, so it looks like I can cook two pieces of wood off of every piece of wood. Um, well, maybe not. It stopped. I wonder if I can use planks. We'll take and put one in there. Yep, we can also use planks in order to create charcoal, and I bet you can also put planks um, as the source to be burned uh, as well, but I got some just stock wood. So now you can see what we have here is charcoal, so um, regardless of how you make that, we can even test that out. No, nope, that doesn't work. You need to have wood um, and then a fuel source on the bottom, so it has to be raw wood uh, in order to actually create that charcoal. This nice little test there. So what we want to do now that we have our charcoal, um, this is basically as good as coal for creating your uh, sticks. You just take or creating your torches. You put your sticks there, put your charcoal up there, and you can see that now we have torches um, that we've made from basically wood and a fuel source. So if you didn't have, again, forgetting to grab your stuff. So if you didn't have any coal um, that you could mine nearby, then you have charcoal um, readily available as long as you can find some trees. So you can always throw up some torches, and if you put your torches in the wrong spot, go ahead and just hit them. They fall down, you pick them back up. Alright, so basically um, I think that's it for our first tutorial. You want to just uh, make sure you create your first little house, make sure it's well lit, um, closed in. You can kind of take a look outside if you want, um, if you're feeling daring to see what bad stuff is out there. You can see there might be something out there. It's probably better to just stay in um, and every so often kind of dig a hole in order to see if it's getting light out. So um, that's basically the first tutorial for this Minecraft survival guide. Um, in the next one, um, we'll kind of be discussing uh, some more stuff for the survival in Minecraft. So make sure and subscribe because that video will, coming, will be coming out shortly. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next survival guide video.